Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Shadow of War. And here we are in Sergos. And what did Slack do? What did you do, Slack? Yeah, I played it. Um, this is basically some routine routine collectible running. Okay, what I did was I collected all the I filled in. Okay, there's six I filled in. Um, as usual in every region and I collected them all and brought them to the hidden barrows and got myself the Bright Lord's Dagger and I'm gonna do a video about this the Bright Lord's Dagger how to make a ridiculously powerful build uh, with the Bright Lord's Dagger something I completely overlooked my first time through the game yeah uh, if I haven't done that video already it will be the very next video um, up here on major slack videos for now um, and also, I also, yeah, just to kind of introduce what we're doing now, I also collected all the lost artifacts. There's, whoops, there's 11 here in Saragos. One of them is really hard to find. Everyone's having really hard problems finding this one here. That's what, I left this to last. All the others are pretty routine, okay? But I left this one for last uh, to show you exactly how to get this, all right? And this is kind of weird in Saragos. There's also a 12th artifact to get your free skill point for collecting all the artifacts. You actually have to do a mission, okay? It's called the Uninvited, okay? So first of all, I'm going to show you how to get this hidden artifact in Saragos. And then we're going to go do the Uninvited mission, get the last artifact, and get a free skill point, all right? So first of all, um, this, if you can turn your map sideways like this, okay? I don't know how you do that on the console. Um, you do this by holding down the right mouse button on the PC version, okay? If you turn it like that, okay? Here we are at this Hydeer Tower over here on the east side. That's where we are now. And this is kind of like this big high plateau. Turn your map sideways sideways like this. And to get this artifact here, what you have to do is climb this ice chute, okay? Climb, start at the bottom here and climb up and about two, three, you come, come up to a little plateau and you go past that and you go up, up to another plateau and you find this cave right there. And you follow the tunnel all the way down and it'll take you to this artifact. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, you don't need a Karagor to do this. I've seen other people who only do it with a Karagor. You don't need a Karagor. You can actually climb that ice chute uh, just using Talion. Let's do that right now. Let's call down a Karagor just to make it quick. But once again, you don't need a Karagor. And let's... Let's put uh, a waypoint just to demonstrate, okay, how this is really kind of hidden. So we'll go straight for the waypoint as if we're going to collect the artifact. Okay, going straight for the artifact. And it should be right about here. It should be right on top of here. So if you just look at the map. As, whoops, hang on, there's a little more. Right around the corner here. Right here. Let's hook up the mat. As you can see, I'm right on top of it. But there's no there's nowhere to be on. Nowhere to be found. It's not there. Alright? Forget about that. Let's put another waypoint right here. Okay, kind of like this narrows. So take you to narrows. Then down a cliff, just drop right off. Whee! Go all the way down here. Spin around, and you'll see these two ice ice shoots or ice flows or ice falls. Okay, there's one, there's two. Okay. You want the one on the right. Now you can climb this with your Karagor, you can climb it just using Talion. And if you don't have the Karagor, there's a Karagor right there, but you can climb it just using Talion. Okay. Climb up here. Go straight up. Come up to a little ledge. Once you get to the little ledge, go up one more. Keep going up. And you come to this tunnel. Now, put a marker on your lost artifact. And you can zero in on the artifact. And there it is right there. That's how you get the hidden artifact in Saragost. 
Sarah Ghost, Sarah Ghost. I'm gonna go with Sarah Ghost. I haven't heard anybody pronounce it in the in the game yet, so I'm just gonna go with what makes sense to me. Sarah Ghost. Oh my God! Hey, Meatball, follow me. Okay, where'd it go? <laughs> Didn't want to be left alone. Okay, so that's the 11th artifact. All the others are pretty routine, like I said. So I just left them out, did them off camera. Let's go do this mission, the uninvited, to get the final artifact. So we can fast travel here to make it quicker. A drill will never leave Mordor. She will fight until she dies. That's what I'm afraid of. And... Suppose we go this way. <laughs> that should be it over there. An intruder! An intruder! There we go. The uninvited. The orcs hold a, fe a feast to celebrate their plunder of Minas Ethel, infiltrate the feast, and poison the grog barrels. And it's worth 9,000 XP and 930 Mirian and a Gondorian artifact, which will complete the series of Gondorian artifacts that you have to collect on this map. Feel like a bit of treasure hunting? Every ranger likes to hunt. What did you have in mind? The Uruks can be relied on for certain things. Their love of blood, treasure, and grog. I see how you've survived so long in Mordor. Our numbers keep us from engaging them on the battlefield, so we work by stealth and speed. And hopefully, we can escape with our lives. Okay, there's going to be a lot of NPC chit chat in this. Basically, you have to poison five grog barrels. If you can avoid detection while doing this, uh, you will earn an extra 500 Miriam, but it's not necessary. In situations like these, poisoning makes our job far easier. There's more than five grog barrels. Okay, you have your choice. We've recovered some of the artifacts that were plundered from the Great Hall. Every piece of Gondor we take back from them is a victory. You understand that Baranor fears for your life. I fear nothing anymore. I couldn't survive here if I did. I really wish they wouldn't blather away on a stealth mission. I find that really annoying. That's four. They smell me. There's one over there. Probably gonna blow this. It's okay, you don't blow the mission, you just blow the bonus objective. It's only 500 Marion. Okay, let's see if we can go for this one over here. Yeah, that's it. I blew it. Okay, forget it. It's only 500 million. Done and done. Hide in the bushes and wait for the enemy captain. Those aren't the bushes, Talion. Why would you stick to something? No. No. Bad, Talion. Bad. You want to stick to something? 
Sticky, sticky. <laughs> okay, Crash the Master. Level 24. All is good in the land of Mordor. All is good when you've got grog in your hand and loot to boot. <laughs> All is good. <sighs> Crush. Yeah, he doesn't have too many vulnerabilities. Fear of poison. <laughs> okay. I have a poison attack. Look at this list of class traits. Oh my gosh. Rabbit, Rampage, Shield, Quake. But he's not immune to anything. Okay. There he is. And there's our treasure. Up, up. Okay, let's start things off with a bang. <laughs> Bring him over here. Gage in a little slug fest. Execution. Now he's gonna do his introduction. Poison me, will ya? I'm gonna make you and that run drink every last drop of this grog. Before I let you die. <laughs> Great, he's not a vault breaker. Down you go. And you know what? You're pretty good. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. So let's recruit him into our army. I love it. <laughs> Tell me who needs gutting. Stay and fight for me. I'll keep your guts safe. All right. That's it. <laughs> I'd say that was one of our more successful missions, Gravewalker. I can hardly remember the scared young soldier I met in the lower city. You mean the one that saved your life from that captain? That's the one. And there we go. Even though we didn't level up, as you can see it was not enough XP to level up and I didn't have any skill points, because we collected all the artifacts, see how he is we got a skill point. So there you go. That's how you collect all the artifacts in Saragost. Well, the last two, right? <laughs> the hidden ones and the one you have to do a mission for. Um, let us fast travel to a higher terror to force an auto save. Can be ours. Quick, short little video today. That is it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. Give me your slacks or a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right. See you next video. Hey, guys. Real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.